My name is Gleb Nikiforov and I'm CEO of United Chargers. United Chargers is the company which came to the market with one purpose, to speed up the adoption of electric vehicles. And for that reason, we are developing new electric vehicle charging devices, which are more affordable, simpler to use and make ROI. One of these devices which we're going to present you today is our PCPH system, which we unveiled on the 15th of June. So this is the reason and purpose for this system is to make uh, electric vehicle charging more affordable and uh, have some return on investment for people who are going to use these devices. Uh, currently, unfortunately, with the current situation on the electric vehicle charging market for level two uh, charging stations, there is no ROI at all. So we've been thinking a lot how we can make it happen. And basically what we decided is that we're going to separate the brains uh, from the nodes, from the chargers themselves. So the chargers are simple nodes, simple charging uh, devices without, without any much of the brains inside them. But there is a central brain, central control system, which called PCPH, power control and payment hub, which is actually made to control many, many, many nodes uh, very inexpensively and uh, um, making profits to the owner. Uh, currently, government supports and uh, uh, invest money into charging infrastructure, but we are entering the beginning of the mass adoption of electric vehicle transportation. And I'm I'm really not fond of government spending uh, your taxpayer money on providing electric vehicle infrastructure. It's supposed to end, and it's supposed to be native business. It's supposed to be normal business where people, uh, especially small uh, business, medium-sized business, will be able to purchase this equipment install it and make money of it so there will be no need for government incentives anymore and this is our goal so our goal is to make affordable electric vehicle charging stations make very profitable uh, level two and level three which we're going to add later to our system electric vehicle charging so uh, in order to uh, embrace the adoption of electric vehicle transportation we need to install millions of charging ports in north america within the next few years and that's not going to happen if there will be no ROI. Small and medium investors, uh, any pop and mom shop, restaurants, uh, plazas will not be able to afford uh, to, uh, to carry the costs of providing electrical charging. They need to make money. And this is what we're here for. And this is what we're doing. So today we're going to show you the first PCPH unit, which we installed outside of our office. And this unit is uh, set in a workplace mode. So we, I'm going to show you how easy and uh, simple it is to configure your system and to use it uh, in, in, in any different scenario. And today we're going to start by showing you how it works for the workplace. So in the workplace, in a typical setup, we have four nodes here. Uh, it's a dual, a dual um, uh, stand for dual chargers, one node on this side, one node on the other side. They all have numbers on them, so you know and identify your charger. So when you come to the workplace and you park your vehicle, uh, you plug in your charger currently it's working in the uh, already charging so it's uh, blinking uh, green but um, when you just plug it in it's going to blink uh, blue and wait for your uh, input on the PCPH system so once you uh, plugged in your vehicle you come to the PCPH system uh, unit which is located either outside or inside your office and you need to initiate the charge so everybody has RFID cards from the office and we programmed one of the RFID cards on our system. So you basically don't need to, don't need to create new RFID cards. You can use the existing ones. Uh, so your system operates very simple. You enter the charger number. In our case, it's uh, charger number one. Enter. You tap the card. And the charging starts. So this system set up a workplace setup mode where you can set different nodes for different uh, purpose. In our case, we have a mixed node. So each node, each charger uh, has a, uh, a public and private settings to them. So in case if the workplace is dedicated, you can only set them in private node. And in this case, uh, you're only going to use your RFID card to open it. But in our setup here, we uh, visitors can come as well and using coin acceptor can pay money for, for charging as well. So in this case, you can attract uh, additional people to your charging infrastructure and make money, as well as provide your employees with electric vehicle charging. 
and the uh, system will generate reports and bills if you uh, supposed to charge your employees for electric fuel charging as this is basically a taxable benefit. Thank you very much for listening and we'll see you soon and we'll show you any, uh, many more different scenarios how our system works. Thank you very much.